I'm going to wire wrap this. It's a piece of abalone shell. It's, quite, it's very nice. And it's shiny, smooth. This will be, and there's no holes in it, so this will be quite difficult to wire wrap. I have a piece of scrap wire here, and it has a few kinks in it. It's about 50 centimeters long, so I'm hoping it will be enough for this. So I'm just going to straighten the wire out because it's, it needs straightening with these pliers. And you just pop the wire between the plier teeth which has a piece of plastic and you can straighten the wire by pulling the wire through it okay so then you're going to need some wire cutters some flat nosed pliers that are smooth so you don't scratch your wire and some round nose pliers so find the center of your wire just fold it in half don't fold it right up just find the center and then with your round nose pliers we're going to wrap the wire around three times to make the loop at the top of your pendant It's not focusing very well. Let's get this to focus. And then we want to lock that in place. So wrap it a few times. And then we have the loop. So grab your piece of shell or rock or whatever it is you're practicing on and pop the wire down the back and then fold the wire up the front. Now you can cross the wire at the front and this is where you can start to make your pattern so we can hug the wires together so just wrap them around each other and there you can start to make a spiral i've used a 22 gauge wire which is always a little bit more difficult to work with because it bends easier. And sometimes I just allow the wire to fit where it wants to go. So there's no planning. And then you can wrap, keep the hoop in the center and you can wrap the wire around the back and then lock it in place by wrapping it around the hoop and you can do the same with the second wire or you can bring the second wire around the front and lock that and then you can wrap the two together. So at this stage, I might 
because I've got quite a bit of wire left, I'll go in and tighten the wire around the shell. And with this, you get your flat nose pliers. And I start at the back and you can just tighten the wire around the pendant by grabbing hold of the wire, twisting the pliers to create a kink. And again, twist it to create a kink. And that has tightened it up, but it's still a little bit loose. So I'll come on the front and this can create quite nice little designs on your pendant. Now with the bits I have left, I can then bring it down the front and I can create a bit more of a design. You need to go careful here because you can end up with a floppy bit on the end. So I'll bring that up over the back. So I've just put a few little curves in that bit and I'll bring it up the back and again wrap it around the hoop at the top. Now I need to make sure that this is not going to flop off the end so again I'll go in the back and just tighten that up to keep it secure. Now, because it's a smooth shell, it's a little bit more difficult to get the wire to grip tightly. So you just go in and keep kinking the back until you feel it is tight enough. Now that is pretty tight now. So then on the top, you just wrap around the hoop, scarfing like the hoop is a little face, scarf it. And then around the back, you can snip it off halfway across the face make sure it's halfway and then you can push the ends inside the face with your flat nose pliers and this is a tricky bit but you get used to it. And sometimes I'll go in with the round nose pliers just to push it all down. We have a bit sticking out there. Make sure he's right inside the bowl you created. This is a little bit tricky. And I think that's done. Make sure there's no sharp bits. And there you have your pendant. And the back. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.
Thank you.